Hello again! Alright, so in this video I plan on showcasing how you can use the pick random variable uh, block in Scratch um, by showcasing a simple number guessing game with the uh, Scratch Cat. Uh, so I'm going to run it for you first and then I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to build it. So here, um, the uh, Scratch Cat is going to ask you, you know, I'm thinking a number between 1 and 10, and you're supposed to enter a number. So up here you can see where um, we've got a variable that's got the secret number in it. Um, so if we guess the wrong number, say I guess 8, it says, sorry, try again. And so you keep trying until you get the right number. So as we can see, um, the secret number is 6. So when you do get it right, it says, congratulations, you guessed it, and the program ends. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how you want to um, build this program. Uh, so I'm going to scratch this and start from scratch. Um, so first thing you want to do is you want the program to start when you click the green flag. So go ahead and put that on there first. Um, next, you want a variable. Um, so you want to make your own variable where you can store um, the random number that's going to be generated. Uh, so I already went ahead and created the variable. I called it secret number. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to set this secret number to a random number every time you run the program. So in order to do that, you grab the set uh, secret number block and you make sure it says secret number. Um, and then in operations, um, there's the pick random variable block. So what you want to do is you want to drag this and put this into where it says zero. And there you go. So how this is going to work is it's going to pick a random number between 1 and 10 and store it in the secret number variable. So you could change this, say if you want to do pick a random number between 1 and 100, you could do that as well. It's completely up to you. Uh, we're going to keep it simple for now and just do a number between 1 and 10, but either one will work. Um, so the next thing you need, um, so what we want to do is we want this to loop um, through, continuously loop through until you guess the secret number right. So in order to do that, what I did is I took a forever loop and put this on here. So this is going to just keep looping forever until I tell it to stop. Um, so next you want the, the scratch cast to ask you what the number is. So you go into sensing and you grab the ask block and you say, uh, I put in I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. So what this is going to do is it's going to show that the scratch card is asking you, I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10, um, and it's going to prompt you to enter a number of some sort. Um, and it will, that when you do enter that number, it will be stored in the built-in variable answer. So next, you want to see what um, is being stored in answer, what number you're inputting. So we're going to do an if-else block. So that is in here. So you grab this. Um, and so what you want to do, basically what we want to do in words is um, if the answer is correct, we want him to say congratulations and we want you, the program to end. Otherwise, if the answer is not correct, we want him to tell you it's not correct and that we want it to keep looping. So, um, so in this if statement, we want it to say if secret number equals answer. So um, what you do is you go into operators and we have an equals block. So we put that in here. And then we go into variables and we grab secret number and we put that in one of the sides. And then we want answer, so that's in sensing. And so we put this in here. So what this block is, uh, is saying is if you, what you an, uh, entered in answer equals what the, the computer chose as a secret number, um, then it's going to do this if statement. Um, and so we want him to say, if, if it's correct, we want him to say, congratulations. You know? So he'll say, congrats. Uh, you guessed it. Um, and then we also want the program to end at that point. So in order to do that, you go into control and you say stop script. And that will end the program at that point. Um, so if the secret number equals your answer, um, the cat should say congratulations, you guessed it, and it should stop the program. Now, if you do not guess it correctly, we, what we want to have happen is to, the cat to tell you that you didn't guess it correctly. So we'll go ahead and go into looks and have him say, uh, let's see, uh, sorry, try again. 
sorry try again um and then we want it to still loop through so we don't want to do a stop script this time so what this should do is that when you click the green flag it should uh, pick a num random number between 1 and 10 and put it into your um, variable and then it should loop through and ask for a number and then it'll check to see if that number is the secret number. If it is, it should say congratulations, you guessed it, and stop the program. Otherwise, it'll say sorry, try again, and continue looping through and ask you again. So, let's see if this worked. Alright, so it's thinking of a number between 1 and 10. We see up here that the secret number is actually 9. Um, so let's guess wrong first and see if that works. So we're going to guess 7. Sorry, try again, and it asks you again. Good, let's check one more time, guess one more time incorrectly. We're going to say 1. Sorry, try again. And it asks again. Alright, so we know it's 9. Let's just check, check to make sure that that works. So we're going to do 9. Congratulations, you guessed it. And the program ends. So awesome. So um, this helps demonstrate what, pick, how to use pick random variable. Um, so, and this also helps showcase how you can use variables to store numbers, as well as using a loop and if else statement. So there's a lot in this. Um, so hopefully this was helpful. Thank you so much for listening, and see you next time.